Welcome to another Basement Unboxings. Tonight's box is the BAM box. It is October 2017 and it is the night before Halloween. <laughs> so we are opening the box. Let's see what we have. Typical BAM box size. I haven't seen an unusually shaped box I don't think in a while. Typical BAM box flavor. All right, that's what we see. Oh, it looks like the first thing we have is something to add to our license plate collection. This is a license plate that says 3971KTL from the Great Lakes, Michigan um, plate. Uh, I have no idea. I'm sure it's something very cool. I, ooh, I'm distracted. There's a one-up in this one. So we're getting something, a little something extra special. Something uh, um, uh, a limited or rare item. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go straight to the book on that license plate because it's going to bother me before we go any farther. <clears throat> the license plate, the license plate, the license plate. Halloween, which I'm not real familiar with. Oh, hold on. Wait a second. Um, it was the Halloween land of Lincoln or Michigan is the Evil Dead. I guess I never noticed the license plate in Evil Dead. Um, so uh, as much as I love the Evil Dead series. Um, so, all right. I guess I'm a little out of touch on that one. So, um, here's the booklet, by the way. In case you want to take a looky-loo. Um, uh, the next, I think I'm going to have a tough one on this box. The next one is uh, a patch that says Fringe Division, Department of Defense. Now, there was a show called Fringe um, that we did not watch. Um, I believe it was pretty popular, but uh, yeah, we just did not happen to watch that one. Um, so, I'm uh, missing out. That is all right. Okay, I'm moving on to the next one. It looks to me like this is Spike. A pin, a Spike. I'm not sure if that's the limited. That's the limited one. Um, take a look at that. And maybe I can have the book back for a second so I can just say, um, thank you. Limited edition, there were, okay, so there's three possible ones. There's Buffy, um, and she's the regular one. There's Spike, all uh, vampired out. 500 of those available, and then there's 250 of, um, oh, darn it, hold on. Uh, oh, it's a gentleman. For a second I was going to say it was a master, but that's a gentleman. Okay. Our next item is, looks to be a necklace with two parts that, um, um, try to get it off of the stuff it's stuck to. Um, so um, this is from Grimm. And, oh, okay. All right, I'm just seeing it now. Oh, and it opens into the key. Okay. All right, so we have an actual um, um, movable metal necklace that hangs, and then when it opens up, it opens to the uh, um, family heirloom key there. Um, so, um, so it's nicely hinged. It's made out of metal, and it's it's pretty sturdy. And when it hangs, it keeps it closed, and you can lift it and open it up. And there's your key inside. Okay. So so far, Fringe, Buffy, uh, Evil Dead, and um, and Fringe. Or sorry, I said Fringe already. Um, Grim. Two more items left in here. Both pictures. This first one is a uh, um, uh, Edward Scissorhands print. Number 232 out of 1,200. Um, uh, Edward Scissorhands, as I said, by artist Chris Ominga, who we've had before. And this is definitely, a, I remember that style. I don't remember which one it was that we have from a previous box, but, um, but his uh, um, work, I believe, has been in there before. I recognize it. And then the other one we have is a gremlin's portrait. Uh, a gremlin attacking the uh, lead character from the movie. Um, with a chainsaw, and it is signed by Zach Galligan, who plays uh, um, Billy Peltzer in the Gremlins movie. So it's signed by our male lead from the from the movie um, Gremlins, with a good shot of a gremlin in there. So that is, I'd say, altogether pretty awesome. Gremlins, Fringe, Buffy. Um, we've got. Uh, um, we can move that. Gremlin, Fringe, Buffy, Grimm, um, Edward Scissorhands with artist, um, Gremlins, 
and uh, um, Evil Dead. So pretty happy with this box actually. It's uh, um, it feels uh, very full this time. Um, and even though they've moved on to having horror being in its own kind of um, box, kitty kitty, don't mess with my stuff. Good boy. Um, the uh, um, even though we we they have a separate box now in Bam for the uh, um, for the horror. Um, we thought there might still be some elements brought into this one that are Halloween themed, and uh, obviously some of these have the, um, a more of a focus on the, the darker or more mystical kind of side. Um, so I think that still fits pretty nicely um, with a non-themed box to hit um, the, the, this time of year. So, um, so those are the items for October 2017 in the BAM box. We will see you next time.